Welcome back to The Hub today. When it comes to how often kids in foster care change homes, Massachusetts actually ranks near the bottom in the nation. All that moving around can really have an impact on kids in so many ways. Enter Hopewell, the largest nonprofit provider of foster care support services in the state. And President and CEO Shahir Mustafa is here with us now. Thanks for being here. Welcome. So tell us a little bit about Hopewell and the program. Yeah, so we are the largest nonprofit provider of foster care here in Massachusetts. We have homes across the Commonwealth from Boston to Springfield and everywhere in between. And we have a number of programs that support kids and families experiencing foster care. And it's so important when we talk about kids in, in foster care is education. Mm. And this is something that can be impacted, right, when they are moving through different homes. So can you give us a little bit of background on why it's so important for the services that you guys provide in education? Absolutely, yeah. So kids in foster care move a lot. And so what we know is for each move that they have, they lose up to six months of academic progress. Mm. And so on average, they move between four and eight times. So if you just do the quick math on that, they can fall anywhere from two to four years behind academically just by being in foster care. And so this has a huge impact on their academic journey, of course. And Mm -hmm. so things like third grade reading proficiency, for example, kids in foster care read, uh, they're twice as likely to not meet the ELA MCAS standards. And then it gets worse over time. So by eighth grade, they're three times less likely. They're retained more, they held back, they don't graduate high school as, as uh, frequently or as on time. And what's maybe the most startling statistic is that only about 3% will get a college degree compared wow. to nearly half of the general population. Not to mention the social and emotional yeah. impact yeah. that you know jumping around has on these kids. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So what are some of the services, the education services that Hopewell does provide to help mitigate some of these some of these education slides. Yeah, yeah. So the the program that's most pointed towards this challenge is called our is Rise. Mm-hmm. And so what this is, it's a home based high impact tutoring program. So that we talked about kids moving around. This kind of takes that off the table because our tutors will go to the home, so wherever the young person is. So if they move to another home, our tutors will stay with them. So there's oh, that's that good. consistent person yeah. who's yeah. like a through line through that academic journey. And they're also doing education support and navigation. So as they transition to a new school, they're working with the caregiver and working with the school to make sure that the kids' needs are being met because, you know, those gaps become really big and then kids fall through those gaps. So we try to do what we can to close those gaps. And that consistency and structure is so important. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for all the good work you do. Thanks for telling us all about it today. And if you guys want to learn more about becoming a foster parent or contributing to this cause, you can learn more at hopewellinc.org slash foster. Yes, you can also head to the website to find out more about Hopewell's 60th anniversary gala on October 18th, hosted by NBC10 Boston's Bianca Beltran. Thank you.